Hi YouTube, uh, it's Drew918. Today I'm going to go over the assault vest that I've been wearing on the field. Uh, you do see it in the main video I'm in the scouts video. You'll see it more when I'm doing other videos out on the field. I do get a lot of questions about it. Uh, we'll just go over the quick questions quickly, the main ones I'm getting. The make, the people who actually make this system is a company called Warrior Assault Systems. Uh, big provider of actual military gear as well because the vests are designed to be fitted with um, ballistic plates and Kevlar. It, it's easily, not cheap, but can be fitted into the bottom of the vest as you can see. Not easily ripped. Hopefully you can see this quite well. But big rips at the bottom. And you just slip the Kevlar in. Kevlar plates will can go on the outside on certain pouches. The UK provider for this I got it from is a company, uh, an internet distributor called UK Tactical. Uh, I'll be putting the, hopefully they'll come up, they'll be appearing there now, the uh, links for this on. And you go onto my channel, you'll get the links to the company as well. If you go onto uh, Warrior Assault Systems website, which is the link on my channel, you can look for their local distributors if you're in the States or I don't know what other countries it does cover them. But it's a Molly Loop system. You can buy Molly Loop systems from people like Viper, there are many other companies out there. Uh, this kit is actually very high grade, uh, a thousand denny or something it says, but it's very, very tough. I've had this for two years, I've been crawling around in it from the dirt, and it's now I've never had any rips on it. I'll try and move a bit closer, I might come out of shot a bit. So what I'm going to do is show you quickly how to attach molly pouches the correct way, because a lot of people just hang them on, clip them at the bottom. Hopefully you can see this because I can't see the back of the camera. Uh, basically, the top that goes through there, it doesn't go straight through to the bottom. What you want to do is you want to feed the top two through, straight down, and on the back of the pouch are more loops. You feed it through the back of the pouch again, like so. And back down. Keeps us a lot neater to the uh, to the vest and a lot more secure. It doesn't cause any flapping around and things like that you do not want. It doesn't cause anything to get caught underneath it. And then just pin it at the bottom and that's you done. Loop the pouch is now re-secured onto the, the vest nice and tightly. That pouch I've just attached there is uh, my comms pouch where I stick my radio. Oh, I'll zoom back quickly. If I can't, BBs. My vest. Carry on this side, the right, the left hand side, comms pouch up the top, two 5.56 times two, carry two magazines, two pouches, 5.56 size. Large utility pouch. Uh, round to the back, there's nothing on the back. Hydration pack can be fitted or a small back pack can be fitted to it. Uh, start from the centre again on the right hand side. Three variants, two medium and one small utility pouches. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to flick, show you the gear that I'm carrying and then I'm going to go through a bit of the gear that I carry in it and tell you why I carry this gear. Right guys, you've just seen all the gear, I've laid it out for you. What I've just found out is for me to explain all that gear and why I'm carrying on the field it's going to take a lot longer than what I can fit onto one this video from what you've already seen. Quickly I'll talk about additional stuff that we'll carry and then I'll make a little video which I'll put up a link and should be up there now to the, the next video so showing all that gear and we'll talk through it a bit more. It's not a big video, it's just about six minutes long. Uh, additional kit I'll carry on the field, this stuff's optional with me, depends on the uh, op, the OP, uh, the operation. Tripod, I'm going to find myself sitting in a position where I'm going to be sat for a while. Usually has a bit of cam net and attached to it, but it's, it's come off and it needs to be updated that one. The other bit of kit I take onto the field with me, uh, not onto the field as such with me, is it's another piece of equipment by a warrior assault system. It's just a day sack, they call it a day sack. It fits my waterproofs, my lunch, any other gear I need that day. Uh, tools for putting batteries into the M4, adjusting hop-ups onto weapons and things like that. Uh, 
another bit of kit you'll find me carrying in that. Me person's personal bit of kit, uh, Basher. This one's by Highlander. Highlander Basher. It's just a, a piece of uh, fabric, waterproof fabric. We stick it either over our cot bed if there's a cot bed out there, or stall the guns. If being in Scotland, it can get a bit drizzly sometimes. It takes a lot of the equipment, keeps us dry on our lunch, keeps the morale up. A lot of guys sit under it with us when the when the weather comes. Uh, so please watch the video about the other gear. I'm going to go and film that now, and then I'll upload that one as soon as I've uploaded this one. Okay. Sorry about this again. Thanks for watching. Look out for my Lego man.